Welcome. This is the tutorial to the Investopedia Stock Simulator. What it does is it takes current market prices and you are able to use $100,000 worth of virtual cash to invest in various stocks and hopefully build your portfolio. So you go to what you do is go to Investopedia the world of finance. You go to investopedia.com, go up here, and click simulator. And if you already have an account, you click here, but if you don't, you click this. And then you have to create an account by putting in your email address, making a username, putting in a password, confirm it. And then if you're a financial advisor, you can click yes or no. Or you can make it easier just by logging in with your with your Facebook. Once you have created and once you have created an account, you'll go through a few newsletters that you may or may not want to sign up for. And you come to join a game. So what I what I would do what this is the main game. This is where the majority of people go to. Each of these games uses actual market prices at the time. I'll join this game. And I will go to my home. Now, when you're here, you can see a rank that is currently not available because I just started. And my account value is currently at $100,000. I have no awards at the moment because, well, I just started, but as you go, you may achieve certain things so you can get awards. <coughs> I'll go to portfolio, and this is your account value. That's what that is what all your stocks together is, are. All your shareholds holdings multiplied by their value. This is your buying power, which that bases off the Dow Jones plus your cash and whatever your, the value of your stocks is compared to the Dow. This is your cash which is all the money that you have not spent on stocks or what you is not being spent on stocks. Your annual return that is what well by the end of the year judging by your current record how much you will have an increase or a decrease in that hundred thousand dollars. Here you can see your the current stocks that you have, their value, which will include their buying value, how much they are at the moment. Over here it will have I'll go over this later, but it will have the daily return and the overall return on the stock, and then the percentage will be over here on how much you've gained. Over here, shorted stocks, it'll have the same information as up here. At the Learning Center, you can see various tutorials that are more in-depth than this one. This is just an overall viewing of them. Now, this is where, all, this is where mo mo the majority of the action happens. This is where you can buy or sell stocks or shorted stocks. And I will go over each action. So, this is the stock symbol where you enter what stock you want. What a good thing to do is go to Yahoo, Yahoo Finance. Go to the current market, see how things are doing. Um, You can go to stocks and see a list of current stocks, or if you're aware of one, you just research a symbol, such as, I'll say, Madison Gas Electric. And if you enter that, so that's Madison Gas Electric, that is an electrical company based out of Madison, Wisconsin. And then, that symbol. MGEE, so you research that, MGEE. 
and then you can look on Google and see its current trends. And it's currently at forty-four dollars and dropping. So, but it is it, this would be a good long-term stock because if you look at the max, it climbs gradually. So in a number of years, it could be worth a lot or it could wor not be worth much, which is what the simulator is for. If you want to flip stocks, a good place to go to is allpennystocks.com. It will have a list of moving stocks. So I'll just take a look at this one. I'm not sure what it does. I'll go over and look at what it's done in the last five days. It's peaked in the last several days, but it had a huge drop off back in the day. So I have now found a price that is very low, but throughout the day it has been rather it has been higher in comparison. So that means within the day it can have a very large return. So what I do is I look at the symbol W R E S. I go to Investopedia W R E S. And I just make sure that that's the right one. Warren Resources Inc. Warren Resources Inc. I hit buy. I will buy 10,000 of those. Preview order. That'll be $30,000. And I hit submit order. Now I go, if I go to portfolio, the purchase is being um, processed and within about 20 minutes it will be <coughs> it'll be bought so then as the day goes on I have to keep track of how much that was so I get my home portfolio I just wait if I go back to trade and I want to sell that stock when it's at a higher peak I would enter the symbol, then I would select sell. Quantity, however many I want, this time it would be 10,000 because that's how many I bought, and if you're flipping you want to sell them all. And then preview order, and you would do the same thing. Now, selling shorted stocks is basically betting on a business not doing as well. So if I, if I try to find a business that's falling, I'll think GPRO. I will go and look up GoPro. Over the last five days, it's fallen. It's been falling, but it's likely to stop falling. So I would avoid that. Investing. So now I'll go ahead and find a stack that I that is likely to continue falling for a while. Okay, I found one. Currently, GameStop is sort of falling. Even though it's tilting upward, it should continue to fall, judging by its current trend. So what I would do is go to simulator, look at this, hit trade, GME, GameStop Corp, sell short, quantity, I'd say one, two, two, three. One thousand. Preview order. And submit. Go back to portfolio. And this is where my shorted stock is. Now I'll just wait until these orders go through, then I can continue showing you what is going on. Okay, so it's been about a week now, and checking back in 
these prices, the Warren Resources one has gone down immensely in price by 35%. So I'm just going to hold out on that and hope that eventually goes up. However, the GameStop, their stock price went down, which was a shorted stock. It went down 5.42%, which means I am getting 5.42% back. That would be $2,060. So what I need to do is I need to go to trade, or first I'll look at the symbol, GME, the quantity, which is 1,000. And then you can either go to trade, enter that in, select uh, buy to cover, and then hit preview order, or the simpler method would be to just hit cover here, and it enters all that data in for you. And then you hit preview order, and submit. And then I would go back to my home, just check in and everything then all my stocks. And that's a basic tutorial. Thank you for watching.